Hi, this is Jim Toll, part of the Abdo Group, coming to you from our recording studio in San Jose, California. And we're going to talk today about the VCNT 2030, which is a reflective sensor with analog output. So the VCNT 2030 is a reflective sensor with analog output. And I just want to point out some of the key features. First, it uses a VIXEL as the emitter. That stands for Vertical Cavity Surface Emitting Laser. And it's the first time we put a VIXEL in this type of an analog output package. On the output side, it has a phototransistor. So light from the VIXEL shines up, reflects off of an object, and that uh, light is reflected off the object, comes down to the phototransistor and produces an output current. In this case, we'll have an output current in the milliamp range. It's a relatively small package with a height of 0.6 millimeters, but what makes it really interesting is that gap we've sawed between the emitter and the phototransistor. It eliminates any light crosstalking or leaking through the package to the phototransistor. So the output that comes off of the phototransistor is purely the light that reflected off of the object. It has a detection range from 0.3 millimeters to 6 millimeters, where the output current is at least 0.5 milliamps, and that's using a Kodak gray card, which is not very reflective. From an application standpoint, it can be used for optical encoding, for an optical switch, uh, it can detect objects, and it could be used as a touchless switch. One of the easiest or simplest examples I can come up with is the ATM machine. When you insert your ATM card, you have to manually insert it to a certain distance, and then a motor kicks on and pulls the card all the way in. That motor is turned on by an optical sensor like the VCNT2030. It detects the leading edge of the card, and an output current flows, and the motor is engaged. So this is not our first rodeo when it comes to reflective sensors with analog output. So I wanted to compare the VCNT 2030 to the 2025 X01 and the 2020. First, we've already talked about the emitter technology. It's using a VIXEL instead of an infrared emitter, standard infrared emitter. Uh, package size is the same, but again, that gap makes it unique when compared to the 2025 and 2020. It has much higher current transfer ratio, which is a comparison of input current to the emitter to output current. Compared to the 2020, it's 40 times the current transfer ratio. It has an emission angle, and this is what really is uh, what's kind of unique with the VIXEL. It has a fairly narrow emission angle, plus or minus 11 degrees. So it takes all of that power that is plus or minus 60 degrees of the 2025 or the 2020 and puts it into a cone that's about plus or minus 11 degrees. Because of that, you get a sensing distance which is similar to the 2025 and the 2020. But again, the reflectivity is a Kodak gray card which has 18% reflectivity. The 2025 and the 2020 uses to, used a mirror as a reflective surface. So with the highly reflective object, your typical sensing distance with the VCNT 2030 would be significantly greater than the 2025 and the 2020. Another thing about it is the recommended distance to place a cover to minimize crosstalk influence. The VCNT 2030 can be put right up against the glass, anywhere between zero and two millimeters from the glass. The 2025 and 2020 had to be at least two millimeters away from the cover glass to avoid crosstalk. That's mechanically difficult when you're trying to assemble the, the sensor into an external plastic package with a lens. It's hard to control that distance. So the VCNT 2030 is much easier from a manufacturing standpoint. And finally, if you're concerned about current consumption, the VCNT 2030 has a maximum forward current of 15 milliamps. Minimum, we like to suggest, is 5 milliamps. And you compare that to the 2025 and 2020, and it's significantly lower current consumption for the range. So the VCNT 2030 is part of our optical sensor portfolio, and it's an analog output, as I mentioned earlier. For a data sheet of the 2030, or any data sheet for the IR receivers, infrared emitters, photodetectors, optocouplers, LEDs, and transceivers, go to vishay.com slash opto. 
So on behalf of my colleagues in Asia, Jason Soon and in Europe, Boris Lasik, I want to thank you for taking five minutes of your time to learn about the VCNT 2030. We think it's great and we think you'll like it too.